Can You Do the Impossible? Descartes. Welcome. Today we delve into the musings of René Descartes, a visionary thinker of the 17th century. The burning question that fuels today's journey is, what is the relationship between the mind and the body, and how do they interact? Descartes, often hailed as the father of modern philosophy, pondered deeply on this matter. Imagine a place where the mind, a realm of thoughts, consciousness, and reason, intertwines with the body, the tangible vessel that carries us through the physical world. Descartes was fascinated by the coexistence of these seemingly distinct entities. But how do they interact? Descartes proposed the concept of interactionism. In his view, the pineal gland, a pea-sized mass of tissue in the brain that secretes melatonin, served as the interface where the immaterial mind communicated with the material body. For example, the experience of a sudden fright. In an instant, your mind processes a perceived threat, activating the fight-or-flight response. This immaterial mental process swiftly translates into tangible physiological changes in your body. Your heart races, muscles tense, and adrenaline surges, all orchestrated by the immaterial mind's perception of danger. This seamless interaction between the immaterial, thoughts and emotions, and the material, physical bodily responses, exemplifies Descartes' proposition in real-life scenarios, showcasing the intricate relationship between the mind and the body. Or, in more extreme circumstances, how do mothers summon extraordinary strength to perform seemingly superhuman feats, such as lifting cars to rescue their children? How does Descartes' dualism impact our understanding of consciousness, free will, and the very essence of our existence? Are we merely prisoners of our bodies, or does the mind hold the key to profound liberation? Thanks for joining us. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep pondering the profound mysteries that shape our philosophical landscape.